My name is Seibu Munkaila. I'm a lecturer at the department. I'm at Coach Athletics, University of Education, Winneba. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, with the competition at the university level, with the new, those, uh, let me say, the national athletes, in one way or the other, they help us. It help in, they help in motivating the, the new ones. The, there's a new athlete, the younger ones who are. But when we go to the national level or the competition level, because of their present, those up and coming athletes are also not able to make up to where they actually uh, desire to be. Because of that, it's also demotivate them from you know, participating or competing in the national and the university level. So that's one of the disadvantages so far I want to because when they come they are able to stand tall, they are able to make up the higher the, to the higher level and they leave them behind. So those people are not able to come out fully with what we want with future performance. It doesn't make the work so difficult so much but you need to reorganize yourself to, because they are already at the high level. So you need to give them training that will also help them not to go down and then once you take care of the new ones who are so you need to it give us a little bit um pressure in terms of working these people at a different level and then also taking care of the new ones so that they can all work and then hit the peak that they want they need before the competition That's so let's let's reflect on the upcoming gusa games we've had a mini gusa games this year and so going into it um it brings a lot of excitement but what should generally what should we expect from the universities uh, this year competition um, things being equal it's like most of the universities are ready especially when we are also ready despite the fact that because of the exams so we couldn't go early in camp and but however we are now getting to the level that we think when we get to tamale if the weather did not have serious impact on this it's going to be a very good competition they're going to see higher performance this year that's what yeah so who do you see to be your main competition? Everybody is looking at UCC. Can we never take it back? What, what would it take to take it back? Uh, actually, um, training is different from the competition. So we don't want to see whatever, exactly what is going to happen. But Winneba, we know, I know for sure, not in all, but with a few that we've seen the athletes um, with their training, we know we're going to you know, perform well at the GUSA level. But the competition will tell who is going to sweep most of the medals. Uh, my name is Robert Kote. I'm, I'm doing Bachelor in Science um, Sports Coaching and then I'm attending um, University of Education, Winneba. How exciting is it uh, combining school sports um, uh, you know, at the same time? Oh, I mean, it's really good. I mean, it keeps me fit. Uh, it makes me have, you know, a peace of mind when it comes to a whole lot of other things and it helps me persevere in a whole lot of things, deal with, you know, social pressures and it's really cool. Social pressures. Can you go a bit deeper for us? Social pressures. Um. Well, it, it makes you stronger. I mean, it helps your mind. It open up, think more. Yeah. Okay, that's great. I will we'll see you on the, you know, doing the high jump, and uh, I think you certainly set a mark for a lot of people to follow in that state. But in more recent times, lots of these universities are doing scholarships, allowing athletes to get into their schools. Hitherto, we didn't have that situation. So lots of national athletes are now competing at the tertiary level. How do you assess this situation, this peculiar situation? Um, I think it's a really good initiative because um, it helps the less privileged financially to you know, equip themselves uh, in an academic sense. And we're going to Tamale. Obviously, um, after the Mini Goza Games earlier this year in Cape Coast, there's a lot of expectation going into, the, into it. The weather, competition. What really are your expectations? I'm expecting the same thing. I mean, the weather to be, you know, the Hamatan season is there, so it will definitely be a little bit misty and very dry. So, I mean, it would be harsh on the athletes. So definitely, I mean, we are prepared because we've been in it before. We know how we adapted to it and we will do the same thing this time around. How do you think um, UEW will fare? You, you've been known as a sports powerhouse, but you see and others are really on your neck now. Um, well, I mean, we've been training not for too long. We started training um, somewhere uh, from the 22nd. We finished exams on the 22nd. So, I mean, things have been a little bit slow, but then, I mean, we are hoping for the best. We are, we are just trying to keep our heads up and then do what we are supposed to do. 
I am Aisha to Omar from University of Education, Winneba, and my discipline is, is athletics and event is discuss. Yes, field event. How, you, how prepared are you for the Gusa Games? Well, even though the training was a bit late, but we are still managing and the ad adaptation is also taking place. So I think with, uh, what do you call it, the small time left, we can, you know, adapt to it and then when we get there, we will bring out some what is within in us. Yeah. You are going to be up against a lot of things. The weather, are you prepared for it? Yes, we are. That is why we were brought here to train under this um, weather so that we, we will be acclimatized with the weather out there when we go there. Though it's going to be difficult for us, but we will still manage. Yes. I said there's, there's a new trend. Scholarships being given by universities to some of our national athletes. Many of them get into schools. And how do you assess that present situation? It's a very good idea. I mean, like they, they plan it well and they got it. And it's helping the at, uh, athletes out there and they are also bringing out their potentials. So it's very good. Yeah, even if we also get the same chance, we will also, I mean, bring out what is within us, the talent that is hidden within us. So, yeah, I think it's good.